In this video, we're going to use the website futureme.org. So stick around, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Hello everyone, welcome back to iTech On Demand where we talk about everything that is tech. All right, so this video is for my teachers. I really enjoy this site. It is called Future Me, where students can write letters to themselves in the future. And of course, it doesn't have to be students. Anyone can use this site, but um, it is a great assignment for students. And I've had students to come back to me years later and say, hey, Miss Christian, I received my letter to myself because I always get my eighth graders to send letters to themselves in their senior year of high school. So I love the website and I just wanted you guys to take a look at it and I want to show you how it works. So you can sign up for an account and I do recommend that you sign up for an account, but you don't have to. You can use the website without signing up. And of course, the simplest way is just to sign up with Google. Now, let's take a look at how the website works. You can put the site in full screen, which I will show you in just a minute. But notice it starts you with the prompt, Dear Future Me. You can deliver this email in one year, three years, five years, or you can choose a specific date. And for me, I have my students do May 1st of whatever year they graduate. You can also make your letter private or public, but anonymous. And with my students, I just keep it on private. Then, of course, you're going to put in or the student will put in their email address so that they can get an email confirmation once their letter is sent to them in the future. And of course, they'll select send to future. So let's go ahead and full screen this and get started. So here we are in full screen and the letter always shows the date that you are writing the letter. And of course, students will just click and start typing their letter. I like to have my students type as much as possible. So two or three paragraphs. I want them to be very detailed about, you know, what class they're sitting in at the time. You know, who are their friends? What are some things that they like? What are their goals? So that they can see how those things have changed once they are seniors getting ready to graduate okay and then i like for them to choose a specific date again like i said earlier may 1st of whatever year that they are graduating i like for them to keep it on private and put in their email address and select send to the future once they select send to the future they will get this message across the top your letter uh, okay, so it's telling me my letter must be sent in at least seven days. So I did a sample where I sent it to myself the next day. So let me just change this. I'll just put May 8th, send to the future. All right, and this is what we see once we send to the future. And it says that a letter from April 30th, 2022 will be delivered in the future on May 8th, 2022. And now students need to go to their email to confirm their email so that this actually works because if they don't go to their email to confirm, it's not going to work. So we are signed into the email account and here is the email notification. Please confirm your future me letter. And so you will need to have students click confirm your email. Once they've confirmed, that is all they need to do. They're just going to sit back and wait for that date to come. And they're going to receive that email to the email address that they've entered. If you are liking this content, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time iTech On Demand posts a new video. Thanks for watching.